Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video I want to show you how you can watch your favorite website but an older version, a version of 5 years ago or 10 years ago. Why would you want to do that? Three reasons. One, education. You can learn things from old websites like if the website was old before like this in this way and now it's this way. What's the difference and why did they do that? They probably want to have a better website than before. So you can learn from that old website mistakes and how they make it better. The second one is to retrieve information. I will show you how you can do that. I had a blog post 10 years ago. I forgot about a person I met and I was like, what was his name again? Then I went to my website like 10 years ago and I found out about his name. I Googled him and now I want to send him an email. The third one is entertainment. This is better than Netflix. I like Coca-Cola and when I run out of Coca-Cola, I go to coca-cola.com and I don't know about you, but then I taste it a little bit. So I, I call coca-cola.com actually the, the free resource of coca-cola. You should try it. I think it's really normal to do that. So you can go to coca-cola.com and you can taste it if you watch the website. And if you go to an older website, you can even taste it better. So let me show you how you can put this into practice. Let's go to ferdicorp.com forward slash archive. Hit enter. I do it through this way so I can see how many people will go here through my link so I can see how popular I am. <laughs> okay, and now I go to https appall.com and it should also appear over here. I click on it. The website is a bit slow, so you need to be a little bit patient. And look at this. If I go to appall.com right now, it looks like this. And if I go to the website of 2012, I click over here on 2012 and then I can grab one of the dates, grab a screenshot, and then it looks like this. This was March 11, 2012, and it looked like that. Interesting. I can click over here. Let's go to 2005. Wow, <laughs> the Apple website in 2005, June 30, 2005. So that's just a little bit entertaining, and I like to see how the website evolved. And the funny thing is over here, it's actually a little bit the same logo here at the left, the menu, not much space. So that's interesting. Let's take one more website like 2015 and it looks like this. So another example, there was a competitor of mine and I don't know what happened, but he was really good in uh, YouTube, but he quit somehow or something. I don't know, but uh, if you go to HTTPS, Hoganchua.com. Go. I don't know, it's just a random uh, competitor. Hogan, if you're watching, I hope you're doing fine. Down under in Australia. And this is his uh, website in 2020. And if I want to, I can take a look what was he doing before. So I can click over here. And then he was talking about internet marketing. And it's interesting, you can read things from 2011. So you see, you see he's been busy with internet marketing. So you can also do a little bit of research to your competitors, see how the website looked before and how they look now. And what I want to do now, I was in America in 2010 and I met someone, it was amazing. It was in Redding, California and I forgot his name. I forgot where he lived and stuff. So I wanted to find him through the internet, but I was not sure how, what his name was again. So what I did, I went to my website because I wrote a blog about it 10 years ago. I click over here and this is the most recent version of my website. And if I go to the first one over here, it is in 2010, but I was there in December 2010. So I need to go to the next version of 2011. And here it says the latest days in Reading and there his name is Ron Halloway. And what I want to do, I want to send him an email like, Hey, how are you doing? You talked about this at that moment. How's it going? So in that way you can use it to find information. And if you take a look at older websites, older versions, let's go to 2016. And I was just starting out with YouTube or let's go to 2017. The websites are not always loaded the right way, but you can still retrieve some information. Uh, what I see at June or August 1st, 2017, I had 17,000 subscribers, 1.4 million views. I promoted HostGator. My recent tutorials were about e-commerce. Convert kit. And here you see an image of me and my wife on honeymoon. And here is one of the most beautiful places in the world. It's Cape Town, South Africa. And then this is Camps Bay. So you can go to any website, take a look at older versions, entertain yourself, 
learn things, retrieve things. And then I hope you have a great day. Feel free to like this video, subscribe for more upcoming WordPress related videos, and then you'll see me in the next video. Bye-bye.